Hi, I'm Aaron Stein from SkiAddiction.com. We're here today in the Wissa Terrain Park. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to 270 in to boxes and rails. Before trying a 270, make sure you're comfortable sliding rails both ways and know how to land a 360. Being good at 360s will really help with your 270s on. For the first step, find yourself a flat box with a little bit of a gap onto it. Since you're going to be spinning onto the box, a ride-on style jump won't be good for learning. When performing a 270, you'll want to approach the box with more speed than you would for a straight slide. This will give you a little bit more time in the air that will allow you to rotate a 270 instead of just a 90. Ride up to the box with your hands in front. Pop up off the lip and set enough rotation to get the 270 around. When I'm spinning onto a box or rail, I like to keep my vision looking at the feature below my feet. That way, I know exactly when I'm going to land back on the feature. Once you're on the box, look towards the landing of the feature. Skiers often slip out their first time trying a 270 on. So be very conscious of keeping your weight balanced between your two feet to make sure this doesn't happen. Once you've got it on lock on a flat box, try it onto a down box. The technique for 270s on to something with an urban style takeoff are a little bit different than that of a regular feature. You need to approach the feature with a slight angle. If you're not sure how to do this, check back to the intro to urban style features tutorial. When you pop on from the side, you need to get enough height for your tips to clear over the top of the feature. Once your tips have cleared the box, spot it beneath your feet until you land back on it. Once you have landed on the box, it is fairly similar to the flat box. Keep in mind it might slide a little bit faster since it is sloped down. Scissoring is an important skill when trying to learn higher level tricks. You can practice it by trying to do a 270 onto a rail and landing switch afterwards. Once you are confident on a down box, move to a down rail. The techniques are very similar, but the rail will be more difficult since it has a smaller surface area and will slide faster. Keep pushing yourself to move to bigger and scarier features and to try new tricks. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions about this tutorial or your riding, contact me at Aaron at SkiAddiction.com.